Hey there everyone, Hitesh here, your programming friend from YouTube. And welcome to the very first video of Saturday Coding Challenges. In case you are new on this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And in this year, 2019, I have planned to start coding challenges on every single Saturday. Saturdays are going to be amazing because you will get a chance to participate in these coding challenges. And yes, there is money involved in these challenges. The money is going to be different for every single competition. And for personally, for me, these challenges, I will learn from this very first challenge that what kind of audience do I have? Uh, the intensity of these challenges should be raised up or should be lowered down. So this is all going to be fun. Let's start with the very first challenge. Now, I'm going to be a little bit easy on this first challenge because usually in these challenges, instruction is being provided and figuring out what you have to do exactly is the tricky one in these challenges. So I'm gonna escape this part here. I'm gonna explain the challenge as well in the very first video. And from the video onwards, upcoming challenges, I'll explain it less so that you can take parts. By the way, that's a nice scenery. That's the only reason I kept it up here. So uh, let's just move it away and let's bring up our iPad onto the maximum size of the screen. I will give you the prize money, the, what is the challenge, what are the steps to uh, solve it, how to post everything. So I'm gonna just explain everything. So first and foremost, the name of this challenge is classic cookie line challenge. This is being asked in almost every interview, whether that's Amazon, Google, Uber, almost every famous company ask them in some way or the other. So that's why we are keeping it up as a very first challenge. So I'm not going to explain the syntactical line, like how this is being asked exactly, uh, but I'll explain you the gist of this entire challenge. So what exactly you have to do. So you're given up this particular matrix here on this challenge on my iPad. You can see this one. It is randomly being assigned for ones and twos and what they call this as a cookie. So this is a square cookie. Maybe you have seen the hide and seek biscuits, exactly same. So this is cookie and you have to figure out how many lines of chocolate chips are here. Now to twist the things uh, in the interviews, they don't ask zeros as the cookies or the chocolate chips here. They say that one is the chocolate chip here, zero is your rest part. Okay, so if I have to give a solution for this one, let me show you what are the rules and how the solution should look like. So let's change the pen color here. I'm gonna go for maybe greenish here. So how many lines of cookies here? Again, remember, to twist your brain, the interviewer is saying, hey, zeros is not a chocolate chip, one is the chocolate chip. So how many lines of chocolate chips are here? So the first line of chocolate chip is here. So this is the first chocolate chip line. So I'm gonna put an array and I'm gonna just enter that how many lines are here. So the first is of line uh, length two. So second one, first one is here. The second one is here. So I'm gonna put a comma and this is of length two. And third one is actually a tricky one because third one is actually going up here all the way here. So this is considered as a sequence, so just a line one. So let's count that, one, two, three, four, five. So the third one is a five. And uh, then we have another one here. This is also two. There we go. And this guy is just single, but still we have to count that. So that's of length one. There we go. So we figured out the output here. Now again, some things to be keep in mind that we don't want to retrace anything. So for example, if I change my pen color here, uh, something to more uh, dangerous like red because we don't have to do this. This should not be considered as again a choco chip line uh, because this is already being traced. So we don't have to do this again. To remind you one more thing that only the horizontal and the vertical lines are considered as lines of choco chip. This one here are also adjacent, but we don't call them as lines. So this is a very classic challenge here. Okay, so I hope you have understood what the problem is. Some of you have already figured it out. That's pretty much a medium level challenge. I will not call that as super easy. Medium level challenge, not the tough one as well, of course. So there we go, this is our challenge. Now the big question is, what is the prize money for this challenge? Uh, there are actually two possible solutions that you have to post me. Uh, one is going to be in video format, one is gonna be in text format. 
I'm not asking you to make hi-fi videos just like me, uh, like good sound quality or anything. Just hold up your mobile on a piece of paper and try to just explain that. All I'm looking for is some kind of video. If you can ask some of your friend to hold down mobile phone and just shoot anything that you're writing on paper, that is also fine. Or you can use some softwares to record your screen and explain them there, that is also fine. I don't care about it. But since if somebody is spending so much effort of, of explaining this solution of this in video format i'm going to give him 2000 indian rupees i know we are starting at a low barrier we are going to increase that as we get more audience into this so the video format uh, is going to get so anybody who says who gives me a solution in video is going to get uh, 2000 inr and i'm going to transfer that money using paytm or google pay known as days however you like to have and if the solution is in the text format means you are submitting me the text that can be a wordpress article a blog post article a medium article or any other website article that is going to be just slashed down to half that is going to be thousand inr so there we go first challenge we are starting at slow there we go in case you are posting me a text solution or a video solution here are the lines of instruction that you have to follow first of all if you're writing this or maybe recording first and foremost make sure you mention the name of the challenge that is classic cookie challenge okay and hashtag one classic cookie challenge so name uh, write the name the second step is mention the link of this particular video so that in case i can refer this to other audience who are at this channel they want to understand what exactly things are going on so make sure you link this video as well in step number two in step number three, problem explanation. I know I have explained this problem, but I want you to explain it again in your own words. Everybody has different way of explaining things, so make sure you do that. It is always appreciated by interviewers also. In the step number one, step number four, just go for solution approach. I'm not asking you in this step to write the code itself. I'm asking you what would be your solution of approach, whether that's going to be loop based, array based, graph based, uh, graph traversal, whatever you want to do. Uh, that should be your solution approach. In the step number five, the solution code. Feel free to pick up any programming language in this one. I would honestly say that uh, restrict yourself for this particular challenge to something like a Java, JavaScript or Python. These are going to be something like three of my favorite. But in case you want to choose any other language, that's also totally fine. Don't take a breath over it. It's totally OK, whatever the language you want to choose it. OK, uh, just try to write optimized code. And in step number six, explanation of your code as well. Make sure you explain each and every line of code, what is going on there, what is not going on there, uh, what are the gotchas point and everything in the code explanation. So there we go. So these are a few things. Now, these are not the only things. I'm going to be maybe I'm not promising that because things are not ready. We are just getting started with the challenges. Uh, one thing, definitely, you will be mentioned on the Learn Code Online website as a winner. Your name is going to be there and maybe I am still on to the path of that. I am also trying to bring some goodies for you uh, so that if you are a challenge winner, maybe we can send you some goodies as well. Uh, so these are all the things that I wanted to mention for the Saturday coding challenges. Now I will post down a link in the description section where you have to submit these solution, whatever you are having, and make sure you submit only one solution per user. Uh, you can take help from your friend, you can submit as a group as well, but only one submission should be there on the website. The, the link where you have to submit the things is a Google form, and the Google form is going to accept the solution uh, till Monday, uh, let's just say 6 p.m. according to Indian time. I know you don't have much of the time, but I think that's more than enough for this one small problem. Monday, 6 p.m. Okay, so today is 5th of January. So 7th of January by 6 p.m. You have to submit the solution. I would recommend you to try the video based solution. That is going to be awesome. Now for the rest of the users, in case you're watching this video, maybe in the future, the form link is not going to be there for you. Uh, but still, you can try out this challenge and reach out to me on Facebook to submit your solution. Maybe just you want to check out how you're doing with that kind of solution or anything else as well. So for the rest of the people, the link is going to be disabled after the limited time. I would expect that a lot of you will take part in this challenge and make sure you invite your friends in these Saturday challenge so that we can have bigger audience and I can bring up bigger goodies, bigger prize money and everything for you. 
So that's all, all I wanted to say for this. Welcome to the very first episode of Saturday Coding Challenge. I'll bring up more such solutions that are being asked in Google, Amazon, Microsoft, and all other things. Okay, looks like I forgot. That's not DSA. So there we go, this is our challenge. So that's it for this video, and I hope you are excited just like I am. And I'm gonna looking for I'm gonna be looking forward for your solution submission. That's it for this video. Hit that subscribe button on this channel and let's catch up in the next video.